You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's 24 Live Another Day After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's 24 Live Another Day After Show. 24. Welcome, After Buzzers, to our season finale, our series finale, possibly, of 24 Live Another Day. That might be the last time we hear the clock for a while. Who knows? Yeah, because we should go out with a silent countdown tonight. <laughs> we should. Uh, my name's Nando Velasquez, and, and the voice uh, opposite me just now was Danny Hoyt. Daniel Jacob Hoyt. Uh... That's all. It's all I got, folks. Okay. DJ. And then H. And that voice is Mr. Jeff Masters. Hi, guys. I'm Jeffrey Masters. And that high pitch voice was our special guest tonight. Hi. Hi. Yes. I'll speak now so we can do my voice. Okay. And this person. <laughs> guess who this person is? I'm Roxy Stryer. There you go. Not yes. Not guessing. And Phil Zetex is uh, was so gracious to let us do this show a little bit later, just so we can get all four people for the season finale. No, finale. I, I gotta say thank you to you guys because I had an event tonight. And, uh, <laughs> Explosion. Boom. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I had something going on. Yes. And uh, these hosts, my co-hosts, yeah. were very gracious to let uh, me. Stay up late and let me come on and host with you yeah. guys. So, so happy to do it. So thank you. So for those worth of you tuning the in, wait. Yes, it's definitely worth the wait. Those of you tuning in Monday night, that's why we're a little later than usual. Yeah. But those of you tuning Tuesday, you'll be like, "What the hell are you talking about?" So <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, what the hell are you talking about? We're talking about twenty four season well, finale. Oh my that god, is guys. What we're about. So uh, let's just you know, for starters, let's just get your impressions. Does this compare? How does this compare to other season finales that we've seen of twenty four? I, I, I might have shed a tear. Mm -hmm. Last time. Didn't this time. Did not shed a tear. Doesn't mean I wasn't sad, but I might have been. No, I didn't shed a tear. My eyes got a little. I had seasonal allergies last time. <laughs> I didn't this time. Okay. I take Zyrtec. What's that? Is that Zyrtec? Allergy medication. Okay, this is just a cover for my, my watery eyes. Here's the thing. <laughs> it's that, a cover well, for my eyes. In season eight, this was a little bit. Yeah. I, I think that this was a really good season finale. Mm -hmm. I think that season 8 finale was a better series finale. So well if this said. is a series finale, I'm a little confused. Uh, but if it's a season finale, I'm ready to go. Wait, mm. is that because you don't think it's a series finale? I, I, oh, so you don't think it's a season finale? I don't, I don't think, think it's a, it's yeah, a series I don't think finale. It's, I, yeah, I, I mean, Evan Katz and Manny Cotto showrunner said it's definitely a possibility that Jack will come back. Look, right. what, now everybody, what's the first question on your mind, Nando, right now? About Jack. About Jack? How's he going to get out? Exactly. How's yeah. he gonna get out? Is he going to jump out of the plane in the ocean? What's yeah. he going to do? Yeah. That's the first question on my mind. Of course. We, we just hear that he's going to Moscow, which we'll talk about. But I'm sitting here thinking like, Okay, so then what? You know, I'm not sitting here feeling settled like, oh, he's going to live a good life with his daughter and what? No, no that's not how I'm feeling. I'm feeling very, oh, the there's a lot of yeah. turmoil going on. So that doesn't really make me think that this is going to be the end of 24. But what also, that, sorry, like that's the Jack storyline, but like the country of America on the show, it's lost its president and the first daughter in yeah. this show, yeah. this episode. Which so is the closest thing to the first lady. That's yeah. a pretty huge, yeah, I would have to say, that's, that's jam-packed for a finale of any kind from 24. And what did I say last week? My number one point that I drove home is I said 24 has always been good about tying up loose ends. Yeah. Now I feel like they left me more loose ends than they tied up. What right. wasn't tied up for you? Freaking Jack. Anything. <laughs> Jack wasn't tied up. Whatever. He's gone in Moscow. Jack is he's about like to be tied up. The he's, Olympics. he's gonna get tied up once he's in that helicopter. He's gonna Heck be tied up. No. So yeah. I no way, Jose. I don't think it's the end. I mark my words. Right. Early prediction. Well let's 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 uh, let's get into this episode. Let's talk about let's lead let's start off let's at dive ten in. PM since this is a, this was a thirteen hour episode, although it was just a time yeah. jump in the end. It was really like a the like fifty minutes and then an epilogue. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but let's let's talk. Let's start from the beginning. We see Audrey, uh, who we'll definitely will talk a little bit more about. Uh, <laughs> she's pretty much stuck on a bench. 
uh, unable to move. <laughs> Cheng's like, you move, you die, pretty much. And uh, and Kate uh, and Kate and Jack find out uh, through a through a uh, photo that's sent to Jack's phone that Audrey has been taken hostage. Was it sent to Mark's phone or was it sent to Jack's phone? I, I thought it was Mark's phone. It was Mark's phone. It was sent via phone. Right, right, okay. right. Okay. Yeah, it was sent via phone, followed by a message from Cheng to uh, stop tracking him. Okay, and that's my question. Okay. I was a little bit, I thought it was like a bit of a leap of faith to think that Cheng could know that they were tracking him to the boat. Like, how would he have known that? I think that it, all of these things were so... Uh, close knit that Chang knew once they caught on to him in one place they knew where he was. It was like an assumption. I, I guess so. I, I think it, it was, was a little bit of a jump, but I think at the same time they kind of. I, I, I'm gonna be willing to give them the benefit of the doubt that they could assume that he's trying to escape the country, and the best way to go by is is by boat. Right. Once they figured out that he was there, they had no use for Audrey anyway. So just kill her. They didn't. They didn't know that people were there at Audrey's. They knew that they were at the boat. Who's they? Cheng. That Cheng knew that Jack and them were at the boat. Oh, I see. But they didn't know that they had people at Audrey's. I was just a little bit like thrown off when they call and they're like, "We know you're tracking us. We've got Audrey yeah. on a sniper. If you continue well, to, well, we'll because kill her. they they cut into Chloe's feed. They found that Chloe was looking in the system. They yeah. saw. They cut her off. So they stopped. Well, you're jumping no, way no, ahead. Yeah, you're yeah, jumping ahead, right? Oh, what are you? I'm yeah, about, like the very first. First, like five minutes uh, right after they've killed the Russian ambassador guy and then they see her on the Skype mm -hmm. they yeah. call and say we know you're tracking us yes that very Do first track scene. us oh, or we're oh. gonna kill this blonde girl I get what you're saying there was now. a little bit uh, there, I think there was a little bit of a leap of faith there but well, I, I'm willing to assume that they figured it out how did Jack know to elbow a sock drawer and find a phone in it oh, what I, in the I, world? Didn't, I like blinked and I missed that mm. well yeah it was like you, they were looking around for like something because the dude just bled out and then he was like like, this jar looks great. Bam! And yeah. he finds a phone. I yeah. just feel like the answer to all questions is because it's Jack Bauer. Because Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, it puts up an interesting dilemma, of course. Jack's there with uh, Boudreaux, and they're trying to figure out. Well done. Two weeks one in a row. Nailed two it. Two weeks in a row. And, uh, <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I, I figured it's the last show. i got to get it right. Uh, so anyway, here's the dilemma. The dilemma is Jack has direct orders from the president to go after Cheng. So he, he, it's a director as Kate reminds him, yeah. or he can go after Audrey. But if he goes after Audrey, World War III will most likely start because no one else will catch Jack. So he sent right. his sidekick, hottie with the body, Kate yes. Morgan. So he sends her. But before he sends her, while he's still trying to figure things out, and he, he's determined to go and uh, get Cheng, uh, Boudreaux screams out, but Audrey loves you. Yeah. No, he didn't scream it. He whispered it. The Jack was the one who screamed back. I thought that was a weird. Well, it was a whisper scream. It was like it was a very intense whisper. But it was like it was like he realized it and like processed it out loud. He was like, "She loves you." Like it was like it came out of his mouth as it came into his head. It was yeah. It was like his body and motion words did this motion. I thought this whole part was really strange, and this is this is why. I... Oh yeah, now we're now we're in motion. I just feel like I really didn't get the ties that I needed here. So we know um, that Mark now admits out loud that Audrey loves Jack. And Jack yells, and that, "Shut up!" And yeah, reason. and and Jack that, that pisses Jack off because mm. he he knows that in his heart he wants to go after Audrey, but he's Jack Bauer and he always has to do what the president says. He, so he's gonna go do what the president says, and yeah. he has to trust Kate with something. Um, Jack and Kate plus eight. Were you guys surprised at all that he didn't go out after Kate? Or were you not surprised? He didn't go after Audrey. That he didn't go after Audrey, sorry. No, his loyalty to country and president Trump's Has always all. Trumped. Yeah. Okay. And I think that's always been his downfall. I mean, right. that was his downfall back in season one, even, with his wife. You know, yeah. he left her alone at the very end. And I mean, really, downfall in a marriage sense, but not in like a world sense. No, not in a world sense. Just saying that Jack's biggest thing is that the people from doing his job, the people that he loves, suffer. That's Why always been his thing. Why do you think he yelled shut up? Because he was already determined. This is what I thought. He was already determined to go after Chang, and hearing that didn't help. Doesn't help. Yeah. I think it goes deeper. Here's what I think. Okay. I think when Mark says she loves you, Jack says shut up, and it means a variety of things. It means. Yeah, she maybe does, but don't let your. I think he was being a little like having almost having Mark's back. Like, don't let yourself go down that path. Don't mm. do that. Also, it was hard for him to hear that. So, like, 
shut up, don't like basically don't take us down that path because neither one of us are going to come out of that in a good place. Mm. So I it was agree. Kinda, you know what I mean? It was. I think it was a level deeper. Also, like he does not want to break up this marriage. I think it's like some right. subtext we can read into. Yeah, pretty he's well. almost being like mature about yeah, it. Yeah. And so with Mark saying she loves you, he's saying like no, like don't like bring like, don't entertain feelings. that. Yeah. Like don't. let me assume that your marriage is fine or good enough, and I'm not going to mess yeah. it up. Yeah. I agree. That's. I think he was being mm-hmm. like a, a respectable human about yeah. that. Well, yeah. I mean, ultimately, no, I agree with you. Ultimately, it's like, let me do my job, damn it. You yeah. know, Let me just do my job. I don't right. want to have to complicate things with thinking about this and this triangle and whatever else is going on. It's all yeah. it's all personal stuff, and at the end of the day, I got to do my job. And it's also like he's the least of like a very tiny emotional character on TV. He's like, shut up, or I'm going to get emotional, and we do not have time for that. <laughs> it's like 24, we're almost at the end. Absolutely, and I kind of think that if you are a fan who's been watching since day one, we know that Jack with somebody doesn't work they die they all die or they end up insane or what what not so I never thought that this series would end with him being married to or whatever I did think we would see some sort of moment which we absolutely did not but but I I'm not surprised that anybody who kind of gets tied down to him or connected with him in any way ends up dead yeah pretty much Jack just can't have nice things he just can't have nice people. Except for leather jackets. He's always got a He's got a good leather that jacket. That jacket he wore at the end with the double buckle and like I the agree. quarter <laughs> collar. Whoa. That was a sweet jacket. Spot yeah, that was pretty nice. But Somewhere it, in between that transition of those of those hours, this guy went shopping. There you go. And and ditches. in those transitional hours, Chloe lost her thick eye makeup. She, I noticed. She wiped it off and put on some new eye All makeup. All that crying and she everything and then she put it back on. Inside. Yeah, she did. She looked way hotter in that last scene. Anyways, we <laughs> good, for good for her. Good for her. But you know what? Let's, let's talk about that because that is the one relationship Jack seems to always have yeah. uh, Chloe, and Chloe ends up calling Jack, and Jack, of course, still thinks before she calls that she was in on this whole thing with Adrian Cross yeah. when they took the uh, yeah. override device. But it shows you just how deep his love for Chloe is that she can say, "Jack, I had, to, I thought he was a different person," and he right away was like, "The next scene, they show him picking her up." Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. And she, she just had to give him like two sentences right. of. No, you know me better than that. Mm-hmm. He this says, is what I thought. Yeah, he says, I don't think that's a good idea. And she's like, no, no, it's fine. And he's like, oh, okay. With yeah. anybody else, he, if he says, I don't think that's a good idea, it's you get done. The, you conversation. Get the brick wall exactly. Trust well, yeah. she knows. There was also like two very clear scenes, different scenes, where I felt like he was almost saying goodbye to Chloe. He was getting like Agreed. weirdly emotional. Like, you were right. You are my best friend. Mm. And then he was like, hey, Thank you. And like yeah. for Jack Bauer, that is emotional. But to me, he, I thought he was thinking, I might not survive I this might night. Die. Yeah, on the ship. Yeah. When she was going to the room to run calm, and he was like, hey. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. And that was the thing. second time, and I was like, wow, I think he thinks he's going to die, and I wonder if he will. I always wonder how much of that is the acting and how much of that is the actors knowing that they're done with this incredible series. You know what I mean? Like like splitting up from each other, but also splitting up from the 24 world. I think that it's very easy to like bring your emotions into the fact that this yeah. dynamic duo is breaking mm. up. Um, I, I don't know, though. Just with Jack and Chloe tonight... I, for me, I had some weird issues with it. I love Jack and Chloe so much. I think they're such an incredible team. But there was something there that it, I, I I know you said you liked this, Danny, that she was the only one that could convince him. But I felt like it was almost too easy for a second. It seemed out of character for Jack. And, and then part of it seemed a little monotone to me. I don't know. It just there was a little bit missing for me. With her acting? I I don't even want to blame them because I think that Mary does such a good job with Chloe as a character. So maybe it was a choice that she was a little more reserved tonight or a little more monot, you know, just like this Mm. one level thing, especially when we see the two of them in the car together. Uh, They just didn't have that back and forth wit that they do sometimes. Did anybody else feel that way? Well, I don't know. Mm. I I didn't feel that way in particular. I mean, I I definitely feel that she's gone through a lot. She was injured in the Mm -hmm. last episode and knocked out for a good half hour, took a little power nap. But, uh, you know, I did think that that scene in the car between the two of them when she was just, again, saying how Adrian lied to her and she was trying to take the override device. And then, of course, they went over to Adrian's uh, place and Cheng was there. That whole scene and her even saying, this is why I want to come back because... 
you know, Adrian used me, he manipulated me, he used my expertise to activate the device, so I need to make this right. Yeah. So I, I, I definitely got that. I thought that was a really good scene, kind of like similar to the scene they had in the car earlier in the season oh, yeah. when she was talking about uh, about her husband and, and son dying. But that was such an emotional, brilliant scene. This, to me, it was, it was so unemotional. It was so, like, matter of fact that it was kind of strange. I, I don't think you have to be emotional every single scene. I, I don't know. I mean, we can disagree about it. I just think that time the time is right right now. You don't have time. Kind of like when Jack said, shut up. Yeah. We have no time to be emotional right now. Let's just get down to business. And I think she just said, just let me in. Just let me do this. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm not yeah. even disagreeing. It was just something that I noticed. That okay. It was very, like... I mean, straightforward. actors don't need to make every scene emotional, but there doesn't need to be a feeling. Tension. Right. There's got to be some tension. Yeah. 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 I don't know. And and by the time we get to the end of them with the plane, that was completely there for me. It was just the moment in the car that um, I was like, I don't know. I just, I, I don't see the connection that I always see between I, them. I will say what I thought was really interesting, though, was uh, when Chloe decided to be calm. It's kind of like, like good old, the good old days. It really good felt like days. once she got that satellite down, it was like Jack and Belichick just like, Jack's just like walking. He's not even paying attention. She's yeah. like five o'clock, twelve o'clock. Oh, he's not. We, he's just shooting nonstop. Like one shot kills all over the place. Him and Belichick. Can we talk about the satellite thing for a second? Yeah. Chloe basically took a Direct TV satellite dish and connected to some satellite out in the orbit, and was watching infrared signal. Yeah. And basically let like led Jack Bauer and whatever his name is Belichick. 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 Yeah. yeah. Belichick to kill all these people via Direct TV. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, what? That's so cool. Yeah. And, of course, it's raining to add, like, a little mystique to the scene. Yeah. I mean, right? I would do that for you. I know... I would do but that do for you. you have a I'd waterproof Chloe. computer, though? Or she, you, yeah, she has an... Do point. you have any technical I don't even know how to get mind. my direct TV to accurately record the shows anymore, I know. let alone see infrared satellite in my building. If I could do yeah. that, she I would be, be a... spying the yeah. crap out of my neighbors, especially this it one down the hall. It was almost too easy left. going in. It was like eagle-eyed saying, two, two to the right, <laughs> one to the left. There's, yeah. There are some characters, though, like from this that I'm i like, wow, you really weren't fully fleshed out. Belchak, who... I know we know a little bit about you, but I want to know more about you. That's one of the things I, I wrote a, down. I have another prediction. Save it for <laughs> well, we can no, save it. Do no, we have I predictions? Hear it. We have predictions, it. don't we? We, we should have predictions. predictions. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, do we? Yeah. Do we have predictions? I don't know. I have no, none. let's do them as we go. I have a prediction. Okay, say it. Well, hey, what's your prediction? What's thanks, your prediction? Thanks, Jeff Masters one and Nando Val. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Belchick, there's another season. Belchick's involved. Belchick, Chloe, tag team, get Jack. Out of Russia. I don't know why I'm saying this. Is Kate, why is Kate involved? It's like, hey guys, hey guys, I got something. Kate for will be involved later, yeah. but right now Kate's on a little leave of absence. She mm -hmm. set her gun and her badge down, walked out. You sound like that. I, she loves you. That's what you sound like right now. Hey, wait, wait Danny, I have a question. Yeah. Where does Alicia Cuthbert fit into this? Cuthbert. She doesn't cut her throat. That's what Jack did to Chang. Right? Uh, <laughs> She's so emo, though. Hey, wait, Danny. Question. What? Where does Alicia Cuthbert? Fit into this. She uh, is is filming Girl Next Door to the uh, next to the door next <laughs> the girl next to the girl next door. Are they part of the crew? They are. Oh, Not wow. guys. It's really late at night. I'm is afraid Belichick if we talk this I soft, think. it's gonna it's gonna start. Let's yeah, get oh, our no, I, I just think let's season, I think we see uh, I think we see uh, Belchick and Chloe <laughs> tag team do something pretty cool. Okay, I love that. Also, I when uh, Belchick and Chloe were going back to the car. Why he just got her from the Russians? Why did he make her drive? I thought that was kind of a dick move on his part. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I would he drive. didn't make her drive. He's a get in the car. He's, He's a get in the car. He got in the passenger seat. I know. Even in England, when they flip, yes, out. because when they arrived, Jack was in the seat. The Belchick got in. Some Jack people the aren't quite the gentleman that you are. Don't forget yeah. that Belchick's also holding onto a gun and making sure no one shoots them. Oh, he didn't open her door. He got in the passenger seat. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, no, please, no, thank you. Oh, no, all the things to complain period. about. You're gonna complain about that one. She's gonna need to look in the in the little drop down mirror so she can put the rest of her eye makeup on because she's obviously lacking the eye makeup. Oh boy. She was crying, okay? No, I didn't want to like ignore what you said, Roxy. I do think that his character was a little unfleshed out. I didn't want to have like flashbacks and backstories and no. know about his childhood, but I did want to know why does he trust Jack Bauer so much? Yeah. He like owes him so much respect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why does Jack Bauer trust him? Yeah. There was like not one question ever. And finally when he says like that Chloe's his only friend, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Belichick really Belichick. just had your back pretty yeah. hard. He was a really interesting character, I'll admit that. I mean, he, he reminds me of, uh, if you watch Blacklist, he reminds me of Dembe, who we don't know much about, but he's there with James Spader, and he's he's his muscle mm -hmm. from time to time. And I think if this was uh, if this was a season 
Well, for those who don't watch Black Flag, <laughs> but uh, for the for uh, if this was a multi like season show, which we don't know if it will be, yeah. I'm sure we would learn more about this person as it goes along. But for right now, since Jack was rogue from the very beginning, he needed he needed Other like a rogues. sidekick. He needed somebody with him. Right. So I think Stay. that was his main purpose. Additional. The rogues. fact that I think Belchick actually became one of the more interesting characters this season uh, is something maybe the writers didn't okay wait weren't aware we're getting of, I would a question say. from Twitter. It's at Andrew Anderson Cooper. He wants to know: Are Belichick and Jack Bauer lovers? Anderson, you know, I I believe that now that Jack's in Russia, Belichick's available. Okay. Um, well, good point. There you go. But Chloe Great. also, uh, mm. he also has a bald head like uh, Morris did. Uh, Chloe doesn't have a husband now. They kind of rode off into the sunset together while she was driving. You're mm. exactly right. So I don't know technically if he's available, Anderson. But stay tuned. And, and thank you Danny for Hoy. listening. And thank you for listening, <laughs> thank Anderson Cooper. Question. Thank you so much, uh, Anderson Cooper. Okay, but yes. uh, if we do break off, and this is a new series, are we Twenty Four Live Another Day? That is that the next one, or are we going to do no, Twenty Four um, Lives Another Another Day? Um, Twenty Four Live Another Gay. Oh, yeah, I get it now. No, but I'm serious. <laughs> Thank you, like, Anderson Cooper, for that uh, one. Uh, no, what, but what do we do? do we just I think keep... it's a movie. I didn't add that to my prediction. I think it's a movie, not a... Uh... Well, it wouldn't be the first movie they've done. I know, but I think it's... Right, a... they, whoa, did, they did their made-for-TV movie. They did Redemption. Whoa. Yeah, for one hour. Oh, on TV, though. Yeah, yeah it was a, a TV one movie. hour, please. No, it was a two-hour movie. <laughs> not that many series. A one-hour one movie. <laughs> uh, it's called an episode. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I've heard of that. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Exactly. Oh, can't get no uh, love no, now. I, I, I'm on Danny's side. I think that we're going to see this pop up as a feature film. Yeah. I, I just, I don't know, but Straight I know DVD. there's no way that this could be the end of Jack Bauer because no. what's the end? I don't even know how to describe what happened at the end. But also, like, in the world of, like, TV ratings, this show did, was doing really yeah. well with the viewers, and it made money. So how could you not like continue this movie? Okay, making we're, we're jumping to the ending. So let's just at least get to the, one of the biggest things in the scene because it really moves the rest of the whole episode along is uh, Kate's rescue attempt of Audrey, which right. which Success. at well, first was which was at first was it a success, oh. a complete success, and it totally psyched everybody out who's watching, I'm sure, you know. I yeah. mean, there were some people who predicted it. I'll be honest, you guys predicted it last week. I think the three of you guys did. I just didn't say anything, so I'm Let's I'm talk about the mission. size of the balls on Audrey to actually get up and make a quick movement to draw sniper fire. I, I would have to say uh, yeah. kudos to Kim Raver acting at that out because I thought it was really Holy intense to do that. Really you, intense. Yeah. You're on a bench. Somebody says, yeah, hey, make a quick movement so mm -hmm. the sniper can fire at you right yeah. quick. Yeah. No. That did not happen. <laughs> And you're not allowed to react to the fact that somebody said that. You can't ask any questions about it. She no. says the tree to your left shoulder. You can't say, what tree? Like, what do you think she's she saying in her head? Acting. What do you think she's saying in her head? <laughs> this oh, bee, I was confused. No, in her head she's probably like, this BK better be right. She's going to go to my What other oh, options did she have? I, like, Why wouldn't you just say that? Like, Sit still or who? move. <laughs> she's freezing on this bench. She hasn't applied her eye makeup in like hours. Mm. Like, She has no other option. Um, except for to not move. And and not get fired at. Yeah. That's okay. the other option. But also Chang, who held her captive for so many years behind it, that's like going through her mind. Also, it's super late at night, and everybody knows when it's super late at night, it's real quiet out. Mm. And you turn your phone on speakerphone, you're hearing that thing for a ways. Yeah. Especially across the street, a sniper's got to be hearing that. I agree How with this. How did he not hear it on speakerphone? I don't know if it was I a don't, real language barrier. A real language barrier. <laughs> don't forget, the sniper probably had an earpiece for the phone uh, for Cheng's orders so or whatever. So maybe it could have been windy night. You don't know what about that. I There's mean, frogs, crickets. <laughs> God. Yeah, exactly. I love. I love. <laughs> I love how we're just making up these excuses. I, I think I, it's to me. It, I, I can suspend disbelief enough. I don't think. Uh, I don't think I can hear a speakerphone from like that far away. That it wasn't was, really snipers. Speaker. We used to do a test. Snipers can go pretty far. Yeah. Farther than sound. Yeah, but they showed how far it was. It was just across the way. I, I don't just think I would have been able. Just the river bend. I don't think I would have been able to get up. I don't think I would have been able to get up and start. No, I don't think I would have either. I, I'm I'm I try to like think of myself as a brave human being. Well, look to you, Audrey. Rest yeah. In peace. If she if she didn't yeah, get up, it didn't matter. It, if she day. didn't get up, she probably would have died because then Kate wouldn't have known. She would have died sooner because Kate wouldn't have known where the sniper was. And then once Cheng found out that Jack was on the boat and gave the orders, boom. yeah, boom. I just knew from the second. 
I, I felt it last week that Audrey was going to die. And then after she gets away from the sniper, I'm thinking, there's no sense of urgency here. Where is the sense of urgency? They're, like, strolling through the park now. Yeah. Move. Move. Yeah, like, all they had to do was Go. pick up the pace. That is true. If this was the president that was in the same position, Secret Service would be, like, ducking Hustling him. Hustling him yeah, out. Yeah, they'd put a coat over him and throw him in a car, and yet they're just kind of walking out. So that's why so. I felt when Kate was, like, um, goes and tells Eric, and he's like, it wasn't your fault. I was like, mm. Kinda. I ah, don't put that blame on Kate. I'm not trying to, but well, she was the lead. You, you gotta hustle. She was well, the lead. I get well, that you are you're you. proud, you're excited about what you just did, but like, doesn't matter now. She if, obviously feels that she's going to hide away now for who knows how long. Well, don't forget she season. she didn't have her Secret Service detail. They would have been the smart ones to probably do that. Kate's just the uh, yeah, they're all dead. They were all killed. So Kate's just the op in charge. So she's just assuming. Okay, guys, follow me. But Let's go think, this way. You think if that had been Jack instead of Kate, there's no way Audrey would have died. There's no way. I agree. I don't know. You You're think? safe. Hustle to this van. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, get a move on. I know you're in heels. I Take agree. him off and run. Let's like ho hover over you and like shovel you there. Mm -hmm. That was me shoveling. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Yeah. I, I kind of got that move. <laughs> get into my armpit. I'll be safe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid the smell. But yeah, so uh, you know, unfortunately, Kate didn't see there was a second yeah, shooter. Uh, we see this really, you know, moving scene where uh, Audrey looks down and sees blood on her white blouse, and then uh, pretty much ends up on the floor. Kate tries to save her, and she's just has this dead look in her eyes even before she dies, pretty and much. And I'm really happy that she died fast, and I want to explain that. Because sometimes on TV, they, they take liberties, and like they shoot the serial killer three times in the chest, and while he's gasping, he mm. then has a monologue about how his face will be on the news for the next five years, yeah. and he'll be remembered forever. Ha ha, and he's still breathing. I'm like, no, 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 you get shot and you die. I agree, yeah. Jeff, but it did bother me that her eyes were closed, because you don't die with your eyes closed, but I guess maybe she, cl I don't know. Every time I have, my eyes been closed. Yeah, the woman inside me, when she died, she had her eyes. Closed. Yes, there you go. I concur. Okay, there, you, there you go. So, and of course, <laughs> if we weren't sure about Audrey, we finally got a silent countdown. So that oh, confirmed yeah, we did. that. God. Which, of course, I talked through. These guys said, because I'm like, there's a silent countdown. You're like, it's not silent when you're talking through it. I'm like, all right, sorry. Uh, oh, Danny would have died. But I was happy. <laughs> I was happy. It was a silent countdown. No, she deserved it. She definitely did. Uh, if they were going to give a silent count countdown to anybody this season, it was going to be somebody who was on a previous season. Mm -hmm. um, Audrey, R.I.P., baby. I loved her. And we'll talk more about a silent countdown later because it comes back later on in the show, too. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, Audrey dying just sets off a whole bunch of different things in motion. So, of crap course, storm, yeah, right. crap stoner things. I mean, of course, Kate's got to go call Jack up and, uh, and tell Jack uh, while he's in the middle of the boat. And uh, he doesn't even have his comm unit anymore because uh, the, the Chinese IT guy uh, cuts, off, uh, right. cuts off Chloe's communication. That moment. And Jack gets that phone call. Well, when Jack gets that phone call, the first thing he does is reaches for his gun. Not the first thing. He sits there, Wait, looks that... down, he takes a moment. He takes a couple breaths, thinks through a couple things. And okay. Then he his gun. The first active moment that he had after contemplating was yeah. he takes his gun out. Because it wasn't, you know, well, with the way you said I was just clarifying. No, no, I get like it. A knee jerk reaction. It, it, he didn't just like. It's semantics, but I get it. This he is an interesting a gun. point, though. Right. So he has a gun on his lap. Yes. And he takes his handgun out of because, his pocket. Because the one on his lap is this long. In order to turn that underneath the right. chin. Right. Well, that's, 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 that's what, what we're all in, That's what we're all going to. It very much so seemed, in case that you guys didn't pick this up, whatever, that he was going to kill himself. Right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. The shorter one is easier for him to go like this, or like this, or like the, or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah, <laughs> or like this in the armpit. Or... I think it'd be more at this angle. Yeah, okay. I'm, uh, I'm just saying. So we all pretty much are on the same page, right? Yes. Which was unbelievable, and especially something about the lighting. Jack just looked so defeated the in this moment. Quiver. It was the, the lip quiver. The, he looked so defeated, like I've never seen him before, and just. Kind of old, old, is what you said. old well, and washed, like like not Jack like. Yeah, let's I agree. let's talk about that. He's, yeah. been, he's a like vibrant person. We are. We're talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, dude. Uh, just, <laughs> Jack Bauer is like, a vibrant human being, and at that moment, we both had the same thought. You said it yeah. out loud. I didn't. Yeah. I said, "Wow, he looks really old." I felt guilty saying that even, but it was, it just was the way the light, yeah. the lip, the whatever it was. You said it defeated. Yeah, yeah, I I was really nervous for him, and I was like, this. 
can't be how we end. I mean, if well, Jack pulled out that gun and shot himself, no, I don't think anybody. I don't would think have he's going to okay. shoot himself halfway through the episode. But I think what it says a lot is, I mean, he, one of the reasons why he showed up for this day was to save the president because he heard about the attempt on his life and Audrey. And Audrey. So oh, it shows how much he cares about Audrey, and, and it also goes back to the decision he made. Uh, originally, which he was supposed to follow the president's order, and if Audrey has to die, he doesn't want to think about it. Right. So let's talk about this parallel. Yeah. He, if he was willing for a split second to think about killing himself for Audrey, mm -hmm. what was the last thing he did? He handed himself over to the Russians to be tortured and potentially killed, the same way he felt about Chloe. Are Audrey and Chloe on the same level in Jack's life? No, I think Chloe's on a level above. Yeah? I do. I, don't, I, I think mean, that... is there a level above death? Well, I don't. I think well, it's interesting when you say kill himself for Audrey. I think it wasn't. He wasn't killing. Because he has no purpose to live. Right. He wasn't killing himself for no, her. I guess not but, for her. But he was yeah. killing himself because of her. In spite of. Um. But he didn't. But he didn't. And he did for Chloe. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a really interesting question. I don't think that their one is above each other. I think in Jack's world, there's two people, and it's only Audrey and it's only Chloe, and they're equal. Are you so saying, wait Kim, a second, no, Kim would yeah, also, Kim. It, it, there's a couple She's of gone. other people I think he would. I think he would have done it for She's the president. Gone. I think he Kim's would have done alive. it for the president. The daughter? Uh, 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 Kim, his daughter. Yeah. He would have done it for a lot of he people. He would have, but I don't think it would have had the same emotional reaction, so I don't think they would have ever wrote it in for the president. We wouldn't have had the same emotional reaction, like, right. Jack trades places with president. No, like, it, cool. It, trades places with Audrey, we're like, yeah. God, it, no. it, Kim, that's expected. You never can ask a father to sacrifice his daughter, but you can ask him to sacrifice, like, an ex-girlfriend or, like, a co-worker when you don't know how close they are. Oh my, considering Chloe a co-worker is hysterical. I know, but like you know, at base level. No, like yeah, you of can't. Course. You never would never ask somebody to like sacrifice their daughter. I guess I don't know. It, it's hard to say. Um, I I just know that after all of the tweets and the YouTubes that we got this week about people saying that they were kind of excited at the fact that Jack might be dying, that that would be a good way to end the series. When when that moment happened, all I could think about was. No, uh oh no, no. Yeah, like, yeah. that's not what I want. I don't know about people at home, but... I think that we love Jack Bauer as much as the creators and the writers do, and they would never end any possibility of continuing the series because they want to keep writing him forever. You think so? Yeah. Oh, they probably... But don't forget the executive producer is Keith uh, Sutherland, and anytime he says, I don't want to do it anymore, he can actually do it and tell the writers, just kill me. But he's been very vocal about how, like, Jack Bauer is his career. He loves him. Now I'm stuck on this Audrey question, though. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I am. I, I do know what you mean. Question. And he has had a couple other women, and they've been really important to him, too. He would have done it for Renee. He probably yeah. would have done it. It definitely would have done it for Terry, for his wife. Yeah. If he if he had that opportunity, I'm sure he would have gone back in time even to do it. But there, it, there's a difference now with Audrey because of all of the torture she went through trying to save him, you know, try, looking after him. So I think he felt like he owed her something. Well, I think out of all the women, her. I think out of all the women in 24, he's had the longest. She's She's been you know, on 24 the longest. Right. Out of all of his romantic relationships. Yeah. And not only did he love her dearly, but he like left her side like 10 minutes earlier right. when he could have stayed and saved her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, like Chang was a great ex yeah. excuse to leave. But. but anyway, so he has this moment of reflection where he takes the gun out and he is possibly thinking about killing himself. And all of a sudden, he gets that steely, which I, I knew was going to come, that steely emotion, kind of like Popeye yeah. having spinach or Hulk Hogan hulking up or something going crazy. He goes total like video game psycho mode. Yeah, he, he turned into the Hulk. Like Mario taking a, uh, one of those stars that makes him invincible and Andy starts shooting screaming. the hell out of everybody. And he was screaming while he was doing it. I, I know. Yeah. Such like a barbaric. Totally like, crazy. Yeah. And again, he has no comm unit. Chloe's Chloe's uh, been cut off from him, and he's doing this all on his own. And some kick, it was just kicking There's, ass. There was no touching him. He was like, "I'm gonna kill all y'all." The, yeah. but the butcher's cleaver to oh. the guys. Oh my that god, that was my favorite. That was awesome. Yeah, that no, was no. seven guys with a gun mm -hmm. with, his, with, his, like what, with his AR, yeah. whatever, whatever, whatever that was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then pulls out his pistol. Two more, and then the meat cleaver was my favorite. That kill. was amazing. Well, that that was and amazing, then the human shield. Yeah, the human yeah, shield. Yeah, we're not there yet. We're yeah, not there yet. I kill. know. Because that we'll was the there. most. Yeah, yeah. But then the human that shield, the even bad. when he's about to go into Captain.
Athens quarters, and uh, and that guy's rushing him, and he takes him, and he's using him as a shield, oh, yeah. and then just yeah. shoots his, uh, shoots him right through. That the... was very uh, taken. That was very uh, yeah. That was kind of very taken. That was a very Liam Neeson type. Very move. Liam Neeson move. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I love that, and uh, and of course, Cheng with some moves. I actually, I don't know. Cheng looks older to me, but Cheng could really hold his own there. It was a really good battle there with those two. Yeah, but you knew he was gonna get. Well, you knew it. It's I the... thought he was gonna get thrown overboard. I'm glad they didn't. <laughs> he already did that. Was... Jack already did that once this season already. Yeah, but still, I'm just saying. They're on water. <laughs> Water's a great place to drown people. Well, he would have to follow him and put his head down there. Or just so. knock him out. But, you should have uh, stayed uh, hidden like the rat you are. Like yeah. That's a oh, great he, quote. He yeah. was pissed. And then, you know, he's beating the hell out of him. For a second, it looked like uh, World War III was going to start while Jack's still beating the hell out of Chan. I know. There's like, no, there's like fingers hovering over the keyboard. <laughs> yeah. Which is very <laughs> This is how they go to press them. <laughs> Fire that missile. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and like and then, the airplane and when your parents are to get food to your mouth. And then we have an urgent call from downstairs from Jack Bauer. It's like, hold it, everything. Stop that Such finger! like a modern like plot point to be like, oh my god, so suspenseful, the fingers are going. Jack Bauer calls everything stops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. It's the, the world stops for Jack Bauer. And they get the facial recognition. It takes a little while for Chang to actually open his mouth and say something, but he finally does. And with that he evidence, with that evidence, Heller is able Ouch. to call up away and stop this standoff that they have because because what we didn't talk about up to that point is Heller pretty much put a line in the ocean and said if your troops cross this line we're gonna yeah. retaliate. Right. Um, so. I think that's like a like a, a not like a let's do twelve. I think that's like the line. That's yeah. Twelve is the line. Yeah. Is that the battleship line? Yeah, it's like it's like there's like the, it's like the twelve mile radius. I'm gonna E seven your tanker. Mm. <laughs> you sunk my battleship. Oh, there shit. you go. But then we could talk about the kill that happened right after once once they were done with the communication Jack. and Jack was offline. This is for Audrey, you son of a bitch. And, and yeah, bam. Decapitation. One slice. Yo, I want to know, mm -hmm. Anna, what noise did you make when that happened? Because I wasn't in the room with you. What noise did you make? Did what I make did a you noise? say? What was the first no, thing you said? Or it was did? Jeff making the noise. No, 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 I'm gonna ask each of you. <laughs> How dare you? Again. I can't remember if I made a noise. Jeff, what did you do or say? Um, I said nothing to be honest, because although I thought it was gripping and exciting, I was not surprised. Can we see your reaction, or can you uh, can you reenact it? To something of what you did. Yeah, can you give me like a three, two, one? Yeah, this is for Audrey, you son of a bee. Slice. <laughs> okay, Roxy, that's yours. That was like the Ready? worst reaction Ready? ever. Ready? This oh, is Chang's I, I hope you guys are watching this on YouTube because yeah. if you yeah. guys are at home and you're just hearing this, play, you have to log on yeah. out to see. I, I, all right, I, it was inappropriate. I think I did some swearing. Like, yeah, that's yeah, we'll be, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is for Audrey, you son of a bee. Slice head. You go, boyfriend. No, that's not <laughs> what you said. <laughs> no, yeah, it was. Like, was. I was. Like, beep, beep. Yeah, she did. Uh, <laughs> she actually did beep beep. Chug a chug a She did do that. Danny, what's your reaction, guys? I straight up went like that. And there was, there was another show taping in this studio I was watching on the other side. You guys can't see at home. I was watching literally like right outside the door. And I screamed. If you watch the WWE after show, you can probably hear my <laughs> scream somewhere in like the last half an I hour love of the show. That. Straight nice. up like out loud. Didn't think about anything else around me. You're an animal. It was terrible. That was <laughs> uh, it, it was an unbelievable way to... Like, it was like he did cap... Oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. like justice. Like mm. what every fan wanted to see, we saw yeah. happen. Yeah. It was amazing. The best kill of Jack Bauer ever? Question mark. I would say, yeah, absolutely. One. I would say, well, you know what? The the one uh, from season two when he cuts the head off of that guy, uh, back at CTU. I even saw to get to get with the um, was it season two? I think it was. Yeah, to get with the um, with the associate to stop the uh, nuclear missile from exploding uh -huh. in season two. He had some really like good one ones better. this season too, throwing people out the oh, window. Oh no, I like this one better. I was just saying you were you were asking for uh -huh. one similar to that, and that was the one. No, I, put I was that asking on. if it was the best one ever. Oh yeah, no, I'd say that was the best one ever. I Sorry. have a favorite, but pacifist. Revenge. Yeah, but I'm a realist. He cut the dude's head off. <laughs> that was you would have done that. If I'm Jack Bauer. Yeah. And he and he just called in the order to kill the girl that I love. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cutting your head off. 
like post skyping. You know. And he's available, yeah. ladies. Post, like a, uh, post yes. skyping execution. Well, yeah. Okay, uh, there's a Mr. lot of Chang. other dominoes that have to fall in place here. I work for the CIA. I've been ousted by the American government. The Russians are after me. A lot of things have to happen. Fast forward. Like Danny needs years. motivation. He needs proper motivation before he does something like that. I would love to cut the head off of something, though, like a chicken or like something I'm going to eat. We can do that. I'm sorry, Peter. You know what? Huh. This could be used in a future court investigation, Danny. Stop it right there. You. I have three chickens. As as bring them out. Bring them out, guys. <laughs> Okay. Stop right there, Daddy. No, I only say this because I was in Africa once, and we had they had to do that right <laughs> for me. And I was I didn't get to do it, but they got to like it was they were making traditional meals for us in the small. Come, village. Where is that? The host have wandered off the like little button that we placed. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Sorry. There we go. There we go. Thank you. He's available, ladies. Uh, so let's move on. Let's actually let's let's we pretty much talked about everything except for Jack going back to find Chloe gone and the chair returned and some blood on the floor. So we got the phone call from a mysterious person and, and we didn't get to hear the voice that we didn't the, get to hear the, vo the final twist that's effect. why it was mysterious because we couldn't hear the voice and then a uh, commercial break and then fast forward exactly 12 hours to uh i guess it was more of an epilogue we got to see a little bit of everything we see kate filing in her report uh to uh <laughs> to eric let's talk about much. that some please well no i'm just i'm just saying that one really quickly because <laughs> everyone pretty much i i would have to say these last 10 minutes were pretty sad all around. Everyone, it, it was just incredibly sad seeing, well, first of all, Kate's thinking, you know, she's blaming herself. We see Boudreaux, uh, you know, this little conversation with Boudreaux in cuffs, learning the presence going on in uh, Air Force One. And yeah, then we, we, we skipped Heller getting told that Audrey died. No, yeah, well, all right, all right we skipped that, so. That, that was, was sad, great, good. okay, Yeah, bye. that was pretty so, bad. No, I mean, that was the saddest thing of it all, though. We I, we're talking about Audrey and Heller now because when he says that speech as they're taking her off onto the plane, he says, I won't remember anything that happens today. I won't remember anything that happens, period. I won't remember that I had a daughter that died in such a horrible fashion. Mm -hmm. I yeah that was to me like the the quote of the episode. Well, that was that that's what was so sad because I I know Danny thought when he saw the casket he first thought because of the line that was before that about yeah. uh, Boudreaux finding out that the president was about to board Air Force One he thought the casket was Heller because we saw him I faint. I think they edited it that way to make us think that for a split second and that's why as soon as they show the casket the next scene we see is they cut to Heller. Actually, face. I didn't I didn't think that but I thought what you said was pretty astute. I was like, oh wow, that could be possible. But I actually yeah. thought it was Audrey. But then. Exactly. Then, uh, but then, oh, okay. Because well, we had just seen Heller faint. That's right. why we didn't yeah. know that something they, happened. That's why they edited it that way. Actually. Yeah. I, but I just thought that that was so unbelievably emotional. He had almost a smile. He wasn't crying, nothing. And he had almost a smile on his face like, I'm happy that yeah. I will remember none of this. He was almost it, like contorted. It was a really yeah. sad. It was yeah. really sad. Yeah, yeah, it was like a sad hum uh, way of, of dealing with it and saying, well, at least I'm not going to remember this. It was this. relief. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't. It felt very unsettling to me, and again, I'm somebody who needs some bows to be tied, and for a series finale, I I felt this pit in my stomach yeah. the way we left things with him. I don't know if if seeing him another oh, really? series. Well, because yeah. for me, I feel like it's kind of wrapped up with him. Yeah, me too. I, you, wrapped up. That's why I said pit in my stomach. Like, I just felt awful. Well, don't forget, he can't really be president after this anyway because oh, of, of course, that same disease of course that he not. has. And I don't think it would really help us to go see him in some home somewhere and not remembering her. You know, I don't. But I just felt so, so sad for him. If anything, yeah, I would be... I would be curious to see what would have happened if he saw Jack afterwards, because I wonder, you know, in the past, in past seasons uh, with Heller, you know, he's kind of blamed Jack on on Audrey's well-being. Yeah, you know? you know what I was also confused about though. He sits there and he talks about how he would look at this beautiful woman on his desk, and it mm -hmm. would take him 20 seconds to remember who she was. And I was sitting there thinking, when was that? Because he was so confident in the fact that he remembered everything, and he was always sticking up for himself, saying, like, oh, nothing's happened yet. If he was aware of the fact that he couldn't remember his daughter's name at some point, mm -hmm. it makes me... Question. Well, a lot do you of remember things. the scene earlier in when when he was gonna go to Wembley Stadium to get killed? Right. And he went into Audrey's office. Remember what he said on the desk? And then he looked the at the picture. picture. He and he set it on her desk right before he left. Yeah. So I thought that was kind of a cool symmetry moment. Yeah, it mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. was. Cool. It absolutely was. But it just made me wonder how far. I think it was just him fessing. I think it was him just finally admitting that he was worse off than he thought he was. Right. He was. He had to. He had yeah. to stand firm the whole time. He's the president of the United States. You can't doubt him. Right. So he 
can't be that vulnerable and say, I've been having this problem for a while. And, and this is his way really of coping with it, saying, you know what? I'm not going to remember her name and, and really I'm already forgetting. Yeah. I'm already forget, I'm already stoning myself for it. Right. It's, so Absolutely. It seems very interesting that we have spent a, a good part of 12 episodes now talking about Audrey's relationship with uh, Mark and Audrey's relationship with Jack and whether mm -hmm. one would be the other. And now it's kind of null and void. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, so far in, in this epilogue, the last 10 minutes, we see, it, it, you know, even though Audrey died, I feel like everybody's died a little bit because Kate's obviously, you know, taking it hard that she couldn't save Audrey. Yeah. Boudreaux, is, Boudreaux is pretty much in cuffs. He's a traitor to the government. He's probably yeah. going to get tried. He's going to get he's getting arrested and get tried. And now we have uh, Heller pretty much saying, you know, I, I'm not going to remember her. You know, this is his way, his sad way of dealing with it. Mm. And of course, you know, we saw Jack already have his moment earlier, but Jack's now dealing with Chloe. We see this rendezvous with helicopters and the Russians right. and this big moment that we see yeah. so, uh, between him and Chloe right before they head off. I thought we were, I turned to you guys and I was like, we're about to see somebody we haven't seen in a really long time. This is where, and yes, just yeah. it being the Russians is that, but I was like, who's coming For back? For a split second. Mm. That was Tony Almeida. You did? I did too. I said that too. I, I thought when the epilogue came back, it, it Almeida would be seen. So. So, or I somebody. Know. I didn't know. Somebody, something. One last twist. One that last big thing. a yeah. great person to bring back for uh, the the other 12 episodes that I've predicted all season that are going to come out. <laughs> but is it a movie or is it 12 episodes? Got to make up your mind. You no, know, I, I think no. I think it's probably a movie. I would prefer 12 episodes. Wait, so I prefer you, 24 episodes, to be mm, honest. Absolutely. Yeah. So are you guys disgruntled with the way they left it? Yeah, the series. Not I, disgruntled. Disgruntled is a heavy yeah. word. Yeah. I'm uh I'm just okay about it. Okay. I feel like great season, great job. Mm. This was a little bit of a letdown for me. I, I agree. See, I think it was a great finale episode. Mm. I kind of didn't love the of, like last three minutes per se, where he's like flying off to Russia. With yeah, love, with, like this look out the window. Yeah, moment. like that was like a little like especially I don't know. for such a good. I mean, like arguably earlier when we see him get the phone call on the boat, he pulls a gun out like we think he's gonna commit suicide for a second, mm -hmm. and then he takes out those guys. That's arguably the best seven minutes of twenty four history. Yeah, that was incredible. And all the way up to when he chopped yeah. Chang's head off. That was arguably the best seven minutes of twenty four history. So to have that heavy of a moment in this episode and then yeah. to finish with that light and the finish. And it's so easy when you're wrapping things up to like mm. wrap it up nicely and slowly and not have like an intense like finale. And like this was gripping. There's so much action going on. So many like heavy moments. I really enjoyed it as well, a finale. Then here's, episode. A, here's an interesting question then for you. I mean we don't know. I know Danny you're gonna say you're predicting it's coming back, but we don't know for certain that they will come back because things always happen. Actors get other roles, and you know, no one's locked in. But that's the things beauty. happen. You only need Jack Bauer. Yeah, you but can uh, do with the series well, without anybody else. I get it. Let me finish the thought though. That being said, do you think it's possible that if Twenty Four was ever to end, that it would end on a happy note? No, I think it would end with a hero. A hero death of Jack Bauer would be honestly. Uh, would be the only way it would completely close the door. I yeah. agree. I agree. Yeah. I don't think it would not ever that be. I, not as, that I want that or that I think that's the As much as we want to see the, the good the guy win in the end, right. I really yeah. think that we're doomed to forever see Jack save the day, but it'd still be a sad ending. Uh, absolutely. As I was saying earlier, I don't think that Jack could ever be with a woman for good. I don't think he could is supposed to or is going to be happy if at some dies, point. If he dies, he can be with all of them. Um, I, just, <laughs> I think that there could be an ending for 24. It could be Jack dying um, or being imprisoned for li something like that, doing something heroic. Uh, if this is the last episode, the way that I'm feeling, and I've said it before, it's unsettling. I feel I bet unsettling. my life savings this isn't the last episode. I'm hoping I'm hoping you're right. I, I'm feeling the same way. I think that, you know what, they did really good TV. The ratings may not have been as high up as they would have thought originally, right. but they did a really good 12 episodes of TV, and hopefully they got the blood pumping for the writers to do some more stuff. Jack might, you know, Keither might want to come back and be Kiefer. reinvigorated. Yeah. Kiefer. Kiefer. With an F. It's you my know, New York accent. Don't get me. Keith I, well, it's my New York accent. Come on. All right? Kate, um, I think yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Can you, before you say this, I'm sorry. Go for it. I want to repeat what I just said, but I want to make sure the camera's on me. You said I'm Kiefer. Gonna, I got I'm it. I'm going to put this on my Instagram <laughs> when this comes back. Oh, I better look good then. I bet my life savings that this was not the last episode of 24. It's coming oh. back. And trust me, his life savings are what? 10 million? 20 million? You owe us, you're going to owe us all that? 
Is that your New York it's... accent coming out? No. It's billion. You said the wrong letter again. Oh, it's billion. <laughs> and I also... Hear it out. If 24 doesn't come out, Danny Hoyt owes everyone listening $20 billion. There you go. I also bet billion. Danny Hoyt's life savings that we will see Jack Bauer again. I think that it will be a feature film, and I yeah. think that mm. the next time we see him will be the last time because yep. I think it will start to get gimmicky if Jack is always brought back out to save the world and then goes back into hiding. I'm I think... Jeff. Well... I'll tell you, if they do a movie, they can never go back to a TV series. So at the very least, I won't say it's the last movie, but they could, if they feel, if Kiefer thinks that he still has a lot of life left in him, he can make this into like Bond. You know yeah. where he has where he has several movies come out. That you know it could be, be a gimmicky, franchise. Be yeah, too, and though. this show's never been that way yeah. so successfully so far. What do would you, you prefer? A uh, movie or TV series? I would prefer TV series. Uh, do you guys think that it's possible that every four years we could come out with a new one? Like yeah. what just happened? You know, we have another Jack's four years Jack's not off. getting any younger, yeah. though. I don't know about four years, you but have one every two, two years. Or or what I just mean, like, not a regular yeah. TV show. Well, just... there was the rumors about the spinoff. Do you do you see a possible spinoff with, with Kate, Kate, for example? Or Tony? I don't see it. I, I don't think Tony, because Tony's uh, getting old, too. We haven't seen him in a while. Mark, I know Chloe, what he looks like. Kate, I don't... Belchick. I wouldn't hold as much water. I think I don't think you can do it. Yeah, I don't ca- think Kate has that on-screen charisma to carry a series. It'd like be it'd be like doing that for me to do a twenty-four spinoff with Kate or Chloe and or Chloe would be like doing an Office spinoff with Stanley. <laughs> It would be do, like doing a friend spinoff with, with Joey. Joey. With Joey, yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Wah, wah. Wah. That was good. Wah. That was good. Thanks. There you go. So pretty much. Uh, that, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? That pretty, pretty much Thanks. ends uh, ends Not this quite. show. I do have a couple fun things to uh, say. Let's go. Is there, you have news and gossip? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, news and gossip. You want to do the news and gossip thing? After Buzz TV News. It's not a lot. It's two little things, guys. Uh, The first one is, coming into tonight's episode, we had 287 kills by Jack Bauer. I don't know what the final number is because I couldn't count all the guys on the boat, but I believe it it says just under 300, about 299. I don't know if you guys saw uh, Kiefer Sutherland was on Jimmy Fallon last week, and uh, they brought up that there was a fan that had come up with every kill and every part of every episode. He came up with like a... Excel document. It was Fantastic. pretty cool. If you haven't seen the Jimmy mm. Fallon keeper last week, get a job. Fans. Also, uh, this is a fantastic fact tweeted out by Why Sharks Matter. Uh, I've kind of had <laughs> I've kind of had sharks backs lately. Uh, my my roommate uh, hosts for Al Jazeera America and did an uh, episode on sharks and how they don't. And then the attack that happened in Manhattan Beach. Anyways, long story short, mm-hmm. since 1580, when sharks were first uh, classified as a species, Jack Bauer has killed more people than sharks. <laughs> in this season alone, he killed more people than sharks have since 1580. Good for That's him. my favorite that statistic ever. ever. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, shout out to David Schiffman. Why sharks matter? You oh can follow my God. Him Danny for the win. We gotta end it on that note. <laughs> Wait, but I, I have one more thing I wanted to talk about too, and you brought it up for a second, Nando, about yeah, the, the, our final silent clock. Oh, yes, that's right. I did bring it up. So, yeah, that, I think that actually is a big deal because it was a silent clock to end the show. Was it to, for us to assume that Jack was going to die or? That's what I think. And I don't think he's dead. Uh, well, well usually a silent clock, then? but a silent <laughs> clock is always meant that somebody dies. But he was alive when we saw it. I, I get It'd be that. The first time they went against the I get the that, but that's why I'm wondering if is that was that the writer's way of saying this show might be over. That maybe that was their way of saying like we don't know if it's yeah. coming back. We don't know if it's coming back, so we're just gonna give you a silent countdown. Yeah. And if it doesn't come back, it was our plan to do the silent that countdown. That was their way of inspiring this conversation, and I absolutely think. Well, it's I agree back. with that. It was definitely their way of inspiring us. Uh, but I thought it was a very very interesting end because I would have liked to have heard that little countdown right at the very end, and I'm we sorry. didn't. Well, <laughs> put it nice. We I can do it here. here. No, we no don't we're going to gonna do, do a here. silent countdown. When we're done, we'll do we don't want to si- say anything into the finish. Did I say a silent countdown? That's, there we go. That's a loud, that's well, a loud that, countdown. Well, that, well now, now that was really Let's do a whisper I countdown. After we say our okay. names, everybody's look at the camera and be really quiet. It's, it's super, super late. <laughs> so I think, I think we we're just going to end it right here with a silent countdown. We're not going to say... Uh, we're going to say a thing. No, we we'll are going to say it. We're going to say I know. I am going to say that. Come, oh, God. Okay. Roxy, where can we find you? You can find me everywhere at Roxy Stryer. Okay. Danny? You can find me almost everywhere at Danny Hoyt. And um, this has been great. Thank the other guys. places with Danny Hoyt we can't find you at. I'm also on everywhere from Jeff Masters 1. And you can find me everywhere at Nando Bell. Can we go quiet right here, Phil? 
Shout out to Phil Spitek. Well, thank you guys. Well, I want to thank you guys. Yeah. I want to thank you three for doing this show. It definitely kept me on my toes. Thank our fans. Especially when you guys thank call me out. And uh, lastly, and most importantly, <laughs> I would love to thank the fans who so tuned into us. So many tweets and comments. These yes. fans are awesome. I want to do shows with just this like niche of fans. They're thank great. you so much for following us, and thank you so much for uh, paying thank attention to all of our rabble. Uh, and hopefully there'll be another 24 if there will. Hopefully you'll see us on it. Otherwise, yeah. we, we all host other shows on After Buzz. Please tune in, rate us on iTunes, subscribe. And that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for tuning in. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Off I go. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.